very, very minimum request to make. We are saying as the Orange Democratic Movement that we want the, the Commission to make an announcement on the basis of results that are authentic and that have updated and that have supporting documents. I address you first as a Kenyan, as a parent to Kenyan youth, as a lawyer, and lastly as a national returning officer presidential election. I turn to you in recognition of the words of our constitution, Article 1, that all sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya. I sense that there's a lot of anxiety in the nation. People are at a loss as to what's going to happen. But this is the time when those who know their God should be still and know that God is God. Uh, fellow Kenyans, we are faced with a dilemma as a country. While today I want to confirm to you our full technical preparedness for this election, I want to state categorically that I shall not go down in history of this country as the national returning officer that plunged the country into a further crisis than I found it. <laughs> Kenya, oh Kenya, even now as we approach the elections and you are going to make the decision, I can assure you that there will be no change, because the formation we have are merely tribal analysis, and if one were to be blunt about it, on one side, the Kalenji and the Kikui elite have come down, and they have hypnotized their tribesmen, and persuaded them that it's only by electing them that their circumstances will change. On the other side, there is another arrangement called NASA. This is also an assembly largely of the Luo of Kenya, the Kam, the Luhi, and a few other tribes, and their leaders, the elite, are hypnotized, their tribesmen. They cannot think nor reason. So that what we are going to have in Kenya is not an election on any issue. They will not talk about agriculture, about education, about unemployment. The critical things, it is going to be an ethnic census to determine which formation brings together the largest number of tribes. So those of you who think there will be dramatic change, you will be disappointed. As I said elsewhere, I've made several attempts to make critical changes, but all my motions have been defeated by a majority of the commissioners. Under such conditions, it's difficult to guarantee a free, fair, and credible. Without critical changes in key secretariat staff, free, fair, and credible elections will surely be compromised. I therefore call on the staff who have been adversely mentioned to step aside and allow the project team function without interference. We can still salvage the situation if we put our country first. The expectations Kenyans have on me are very high, yet I cannot move forward with a divided commission. As a lawyer, I cannot continue to be pushed by majority commissioners to accept legal opinions that serve facts and interests and are not grounded in the constitution and the law. I would rather go out with my name injured and my head lifted high than be part of a process where personal interests grab the interests of the nation. I'm saying that the monkeys are the same, the forests have changed, and if you ever doubted me, there was once a forest called Cod, there was once a forest called ODM, it has now changed into NASA. There was once a forest called URP, there was once a forest called TNA, it is now Jubilee. It's only the person who knows his or her God who can be still in the midst of trouble. I look at where we are as a nation and I realize that many of us have focused in the wrong place. And we are caught up in this thing, oh, what is going to happen? We are stuck between NASA and Jubilee. Let me tell you, NASA and Jubilee can be removed by God and you will see them no more forever. I don't know what that means to you. Uhuru can be removed by God right now and will not see the election. Raila can be removed by God right now and he will not see the election because there's a God in heaven.
And those of you who have chosen that you are going to rally behind these people and fight one another because of them, may you perish with them. May you go with them. Because we are not here for anyone. May you perish with them. Because Uhuru is not my God. Raila is not my God. And this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to God. And it is going to be here after they are gone. They are gone. We are not going to be taken captive by two people who are fighting for their own interests and causing us to fight one another. I refuse in Jesus' name. I refuse in Jesus' name. Where will you take me? As the referee, I want to issue a stern warning to the players of this game on all sides that they should stop all attempts to interfere with the process. The failure to do this will result in consequences as I've made up my mind to uphold the constitution and the will of the people of Kenya regardless of threat, intimidation and pressure. No one side is absolved from this and that's why my warning goes to all parties involved. Anyone who truly loves this country will not want it to be destroyed by the ambitions of a few people. I love this country, which is why I've chosen to address you today. I'll not allow anyone to destroy this country as long as I'm the referee of this contest. And those of you who think that these people are your gods, God bless you. I am from the country of India. I have a picture on my phone. I passed by this big warehouse where they are making gods and selling gods and I took a picture and I say how foolish that somebody takes chalk or cement whatever it is and makes these weird looking things and they are being sold there and people are buying and bringing to their homes and say behold my God. But while I was thinking of that, I said, for sure, we are not different. We have picked men and made them our gods. And now we can say nothing because our God has spoken. Wow. How foolish. Cursed is he who trust is in man. May God come through for us. Be still and know that I am Lord.